Hello, everybody. This is Badger Wild coming back on a Monday with another Space Engineers video. Today, a bit of a tutorial because some of y'all might remember my video on how to build fast and y'all tore that video up really good with uh, all the views. People were just viewing it like crazy and thank you guys for doing that. Um, but something happened after that video that kind of showed off where I was going with the channel and what I was wanting the channel to do with space when it comes to space engineers. And that is, I want this channel to become a repository for new players who are wanting to learn how to play space engineers and can just go to this channel, find stuff that's going on or, or find tips and stuff to help them get better at the game and help them build faster. Lo and behold, one of the subscribers, uh, Mr. Frank Martell, came into the comments and did an info dump on <laughs> so much more stuff I didn't know existed in the game. And I, I'm, I'm still trying out some of this stuff as I play through my uh, uh, live stream on Twitch. But one of them that really got me, and that is the subject of this video, is how to repair fast. So after we get into this video, I would like to thank Frank Martell again for giving me this information. Quick shout out to him. He's awesome. Now, Onto the video. We have right here uh, my miner. And this is just a situation that I'm throwing out there to everyone. Uh, so you're playing PvP, say so you're playing PvE. All of a sudden you come under attack by, uh, let's say, either a Hydro Boy comes at you and you, you're fighting off with him. He comes in first with some machine gun fire, another player, could be a could be a drone or something. You manage to handle him off pretty good, but he manages to disable our tank right here. Our 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 cargo container has been severely damaged. It's not working at the moment. So when uh, our, our opponent runs out of ammunition, they immediately resorted to grinding and started grinding on the ship until we managed to use the grinders or whatever, pull up some fancy maneuvers, and manage to take care of this idiot. But now we've managed to limp back to base, and our ship is damaged. Now, this is going to take a lot of work. Going in here, we got to repair the oxygen tank. We got our ejector is damaged, a thruster is damaged. Two of our drills are down. Not to mention the oxygen H2 generator has been hit, and the cargo container has taken some major damage as well. So we gotta we gotta figure out how to fix this. We gotta fix this and fix it fast. Now, normally, what most people would do, if you're a new player, you will get this here, run over to your nearby cargo container. And you would hop in and start grabbing whatever components you needed in mass, throw them into your inventory, and try to, you know, run through and run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, with full loads, unable to do the most good. But there's a faster way to do this, and this is where good old Frank Martell, I'm going to say his name a couple of times because I want you guys to know who gave me this idea. Old Frank told me that all you got to do is take your welder, walk up, and this is why we have multiple system so we've got a damaged system here it's been damaged by bullets we've got one that's been damaged by grinder i'm gonna show you guys how this thing works frank martell said you can take your welder and normally when you use a welder you push the left mouse button and the welder turns on and welds but there's another mouse, but there's also a second mouse button so you click right there's an animation and you hear a a cancellation noise basically the eh -eh, meaning you've not done something correct. This is what that, that right click does. Run up to the target that you want to repair, right click, and boom. I've right clicked on both of them, and you'll notice that both of these are in a varying state of repair. See, this one requires 23 construction components, four large steel tubes, one motor, one computer, 12 steel plates. This one requires only 14 construction components, one motor, one computer, and 12 steel plates. What has happened is I have basically took the parts that need to be repaired and throw them into my build planner. And there's no limit to how many repair parts you can put in. If there's a part on here that needs to be repaired, you can just keep right clicking on all the parts that need to be repaired and you will stuff them into your build planner and then you can weld. This is this is phenomenal for early game play because and, and absolutely a necessary thing in my opinion, just like using the build planner is when you get your first assembler that can build your stuff. And there's there's another video coming. There's a part two to that that has that expands on that that Frank gave us. Thank you, man. You you actually gave me a bunch of content to throw up here. I love you, man. Thank you. So this this works even with 
stuff that has been damaged. Or, well, maybe that's functional. Okay, this may just be because it's functional. I don't know. Yeah, probably because it's functional. So anything that's non-functioning right now and you need parts for it, it'll automatically throw them in. So we can easily repair this with just a couple of steel blades. Right? Oh, that's why it's not actually really damaged. <laughs> All the components are in there. It just needs a little bit of work done. It just needs to be welded back up. That's why it didn't work. But anyway, if there are any missing components in your system, you can just right-click, you can put it in. You can right-click this entire ship here. And we're going to do repairs at lightning speed. Now let's head over to the little nanite deal. Because this is the closest thing I've got. Push that button. We've got everything that we need to start repairing. Here we go. Now normally this would take a lot longer than what we're normally doing. Because the amount of repair work that would be necessary. I'd have to go back to my deal, like I said. Grab hold of it. Alright. I need the motors to do this, so we need one more trip. And we're getting the exact amount of components out that we need. All components have been withdrawn successfully. And bam! The whole ship has been completely repaired. Minus, I will have to do some work putting this back into a group. But you can see we've managed to just repair this thing fairly quickly. Are we still missing? Okay, nope. Yeah, we had the we had the components inside of our inventory. We must not have uh, repaired that yet. So you can see right here, everything is now repaired. We have repaired our ship in, in an amazing speed that when you're early game and you have something like this, you're going to run into drones. Uh, if you mod the game and do more PvE, you're going to run into a lot more environmental enemies. <clears throat> this is going to cause problems. You're going to run into situations where you're going to get shot. You're going to run into situations where sometimes a drone may sneak up behind you and just grind on your ship a bit. And you may have enough time to get the ship moved, maybe even take the other ship out. And then you'll have to limp back to base and then repair it. And you may not have a full production facility on standby. You may not even have uh, something as fancy as, say, the tarantula over here. Uh, so if you just got your hand welder in your early game, this is a phenomenal way to keep your ships repaired and repair them very, relatively quickly without having to, you know, do multiple trips. And I mean, if I had done this, I would have, under normal circumstances, I'd have grabbed steel plates and, and welded all the steel plates in, then went and got component by component and gone through there. I would have done 10, maybe 15 trips, whereas I did roughly around three to four trips. And I put the exact amount of materials I need precisely. The most efficient repair job you have ever seen done right now on a small ship. This also works for large ships. You can go in, begin grabbing what components you need to make repairs, and then run through and make repairs. Uh, if you're not like me and have this nifty little... Um, Yes, I know my suit's correctly low. I have this little nanite thing over here, which I'll, I'll review that later once I've learned more about it. By the way, yes, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I showed you guys how to do a fast repair job on your ships. Hope it helps you guys out, makes you faster builders, and, and gets you to where you need to go much more speedily and uh, provides a much more readily available repair work for your ships so you don't have to, you know, Spend a whole lot of time welding. You can spend more time having adventures. Anyway, thank you all for watching the video. This is Badger Wild. Stay safe, everybody. And I'm signing out.